come and collect it. John Mandume Mbalala or Halenge Ashilongo welcomed us at his makeshift home. But unlike the first time when we first met him sleeping in the open, he is now sleeping in a tent. His physical condition has also improved thanks to the Omsati Regional Police, which has been feeding him from time to time. Police Commissioner Shinedima Shindinge, however, says convincing him to leave this place remains a challenge because of his psychological instability. He is not willing to go to Namibia. He is fine here. So there was a time when he, he said, well, you may pass greetings to my mom. Uh, and uh, one time he was saying, yeah, maybe one time I will go and visit her. Uh, and uh, tomorrow when you come the other day, he changed the, the, the topic again. So this is the situation that we are, it's a challenge anyhow, but we will try by all means to convince him so that uh, he can be voluntarily willing to go. Government hopes to win his heart soon and reunite him with his family, which for 24 years believed he died in the war. But until he's willing to be repatriated, Mbwalala cannot be moved by force as it is against the international law. As part of his rehabilitation, the committee members, which comprises a family member, a social worker and a former plane fighter, stayed here for a week at the beginning of this year just to make him get used to be around the people. There's a change uh, because even now when you are talking to him, you could see that you, you are exchanging words in a friendly manner, not like uh, the first time when I met him for the first time. He may not even talk to you or he may leave you here and leave the place where you are and then he's going to, you know, going anyway. He was not willing to talk to anybody. That is to say there's a, a bit improvement. Yeah, there's very serious improvement, per se. Uh, uh, if, if we compare the time when I happened to see him first and at the time as we are talking today. It is believed that Mbalala had suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after the deadly attack on plane fighters by the South African colonial forces in April 1989. He has since been living here and villagers did not really know what to do or where to take him. Tonate Nishidudu, NBC News, Ojafilwa Village, Southern Angola.